We get you ready for Wake Forest. Brian Higgins joined now by Sean Riley. And Sean, huge game last week, 10 catches, uh, career high in yardage. What was that like? You were getting the ball a, a ton and making it happen out there. I mean, it definitely felt good uh, being a carrier, don't making big plays. But uh, overall, the win was uh, the best feeling. Huge win into the polls. We'll get to that in a second. But take me back to practice last week right. when Eric and Tommy are fighting for that job, and it looks like it really drove Eric in the right direction. Yeah, I mean, competition uh, definitely pushes uh, players. Um, I know I have competition in our room with uh, Nakeem and all other guys. Mm -hmm. So um, I just felt like that was the best week of prepar preparation we had all week, and uh, we had a good game. What did Eric give you guys in the game last week? I mean, it's one of the handful of best games he's played in his career. Um, he did. He did what he always does. Um, he had a, he stepped up, um, made big plays, and uh, we took a lot of shots, and uh, we completed them. You mentioned that you're pushed by uh, Nikeem Johnson. Both of you guys had right. huge games this last week. Jamal's had big games mm -hmm. recently. Are you starting to notice it really come around in your room right now? Yeah, definitely in the receiver room. We all we all want to be like the best receiver, so mm -hmm. uh, that motivates us to like step up and make big plays because we want to do better than the uh, next guy, and that just it does better for the whole team. Yeah, you had a career high in yardage. Nikeem had a career high in yardage, and a couple weeks ago it was Jamal who had uh, almost a career high. And you got the big win against a ranked team to guarantee bowl eligibility. That was one of your goals preseason. How much you guys focused on that? Because it was one of your goals, but it was not the only goal preseason. I mean, right. Well, you can't really uh, focus on that. We uh, take take it game by game. Mm -hmm. um, we got six wins, uh, but we, we're taking it game by game, and we want to finish out strong. You're a junior, but there are even more veteran guys in the room. Is it exciting, though, for those seniors that have not gotten to participate in the postseason at this point? Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's, it's exciting to get those guys to a bowl game. Uh, we always talk about it. They haven't really uh, gotten that chance. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, good for them that we um, clinched the bowl game for those guys. And ranked for the first time around here in, in 17 years. Cool, or what do you what do you guys feel about that? Uh, it's definitely cool, uh, good for the program, but we got to be humble about it. Uh, the season's not over. We can lose a game, and uh, that'll all go away. So, like I said before, we got to take it game by game, and uh, um, focus on the accolades after the season. And you take it into this Wake Forest game. Uh, Wake is a team that just put up 50 some odd points themselves, much like you did. You guys have scored at least 50 now in half of the games right. this year. Is this? what Coach Babers was talking about when he got here, where this offense eventually could get to? Yeah, definitely. Um, we do good, good job uh, in the film room all week. Uh, um, we just find the open spots in the defense, and um, we were able to find uh, the spots this week, and um, we scored a lot of points. Hey, you had a shootout with them last year. You've had a lot of shootouts here recently. What, what's that like to be a part of on offense, where every time you're on the field, it looks like you're going for a touchdown? I just felt like every drive, we uh, had an opportunity to score. And um, I feel like we did a very good job of that. It's been great in the Dome. What is the trick on the road here, where obviously it's never as easy as when you're at home? Right. Uh, we just got to go down there and uh, just make plays, man. Uh, everybody's locked in and ready to go. I think we're going we're gonna to show up. All right, Sean, sounds good. We'll see you down there. Thank you. Sean Riley. We'll see him catch those balls from Eric Dungy this Saturday in Winston-Salem.